guys. Fanny with Ada's back again. And Joy Route. Thank you, Joy Route. Joy Route is a blessing. Joy Route. I've, I've watched Joy Route for, for when she started her channel. And that's why I kind of... Well, I watched other channels before her and then I ran into Joy Route. And I truly recommend you to go to her channel if you're a van lifer. Because she has a lot of good tips. And I got a lot of good tips from her. But the cold weather just wasn't me, and it wasn't set up for any season. So it takes time, guys. It, it really takes time. If you're a van lifer, it just takes time, especially in a minivan. But she makes it work for her in a simpler way. She's a very simpler way, but she gets her good night sleep. She got her Panera membership. She got her, uh, what is that, the, the gym that everybody uses that be on the road. Uh, oh, gosh. Planet Fitness, is it? Yeah, Planet Fitness uh, for showers and stuff. And um, uh, she makes it work. I like her her little dinner setup. Joy Ra, I like her dinner setup. She makes all the, the candlelight and everything. And, I mean, she, 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 you know, she, she's really nice. She's a really nice person. Um... And, um, are you still, uh, crash, crashing parties? Okay, are you still on the road down the Atlanta area? Crashing parties? Girls, every time I see you, you win something. You win something. <laughs> I'm surprised you and Papa Dance out there, guys. Uh, like, uh, cha-cha slide or, or something, girl. Something, something. So, next time, I hope you're doing the slide or... Or the whatever dance, okay? Out of so many that there are out there. Uh, do the twerk. Uh, do the percolator. <laughs> you gotta have fun on the road, guys. I tell you. You meet people and you have a lot of fun. Joy Route, I want to thank Joy Route. If you're a van lifer, I truly recommend her channel. Um, she gave me a solution. She was like, the fireplace. The fireplace you got at home, you know, for the heating in the van. I'm thinking, or oh, that fireplace, or oh, that fireplace, or oh, that little one sitting in the corner over there, which is the one I, I, I definitely would bring into the van, but I had not brought it out here. Well, Joy Route, I kept scratching my head, girl. I kept scratching my head. Um, and I said, but which one of the fireplaces? Well, no, nobody has seen that one yet, and that's, that's, uh, the one y'all haven't seen yet is the one that I, I, I already said it was the one I would bring into my van. Um, I do have the Mr. Buddy heater, but damn, I ain't gonna be investing money and wasting on propane. It's so expensive for two cans. It's expensive. So, but I am gonna bring it with me. I'm gonna put it in the van tomorrow. Um, just know that it's here, and if I... Excuse me, when I go roll again, I just, um, I do have propane canisters, but damn, do you know where they at? Uh, they're in the, in the closet, stuck to the T with the, um, with the, um, uh, ethanol fuel for these indoor fireplaces. Let me tell you, my carbon monoxide is right there. Ain't peeped, okay? It ain't peeped at all. And my windows are only cracked about this much, okay? Because I had no plans of coming in here. Normally when I'm out, I'll pop them up. If I have kind of a, uh, like a source of something, I would, I would pop it up a little bit more. But it's just about this much, guys. But I could feel the cold air right through them curtains over here. Oh, Lord. So I'm sitting over here, guys. I I did bring not the fireplace. I brought the other fireplace, the one that comes with the tubing and whatnot. This thing just takes up too much space. It works wonders because you put the canister inside and it heats up the um you know the the mini uh fireplace that I um I have put the link for y'all there. Um, in one of my channels, the one that I did, um, it's the fire, the firewood mini, um, 
mini fireplace, the wood one, yeah. I brought it in here without the wood, guys, without the wood, of course. And I put, um, it's not the tabletop fireplace yeah, I know that I have. Okay, I have four of them. And I'm stuck to the rafters with um, the liquids. Whether it's the bottles. Well, yeah, most of it is the bottles. And then I have a couple of, of, um, of gallons that I got from Home Depot. Guy, it was cheaper. So, I just brought the little round candle. So, it's like a coffee cup. Okay, I'm not going to show it to you. No, you're not going to see it yet until I bring the one that y'all haven't seen in here. But I did bring the canister that goes in it, which is the size of a coffee cup. Okay, so it's it's smaller than the one I have as my tabletop that y'all seen. And let me tell you something. When I came in here, it was 33 degrees. I said, oh, Lord, why did I pick a time? My, my daughter... Came home with some pizza. I said, and I was getting ready to cook something. And I said, whoa, she came at the right time because I was hungry from running around all day, right? But I I was reading some, uh, my comments, just checking to see because, you know, I try to get back as soon as I can. Um, and I'm sorry, dragonflies. Dragonflies, I got you on my mind for two. I got to catch up on the video. I, I missed the live because I fell asleep. The, the worst thing I could do is lay down. If I lay down about eight to nine, God knows I am going to fall asleep. And on, she had a live last night. And I put a little heart, okay, because to let her know that. I, oh, yeah, I was in. And I had my notification on. It stayed on. So trusting the notification... Um, I, I went to the channel and I put a little heart in there because I was waiting. And the wrong thing for Ada to do is to put her head down uh, between 8 and 8.30. That's going to be it, guys. So I, I'm sorry, Dragonflies. I fell asleep. Yeah, check out her channel too. It's um, Dragonflies uh, um, Christina Homestead, okay? Dragonflies Homestead Christina. Or, or, I can never get it right, Dragonflies, I am so sorry. I swear that if I lived in your town, you would have came to my house to whoop my behind. I swear, she would. Yes, she would. I know she would. She would come with a big, old-fashioned uh, spatula and whoop my tail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I, uh, I haven't looked at anything today because I was busy. And I, when I got home, all I did was shower. And, um... Try to upload my video. I don't even know what time it if it uploaded. I have no idea, but um, the internet is just off the hook, guys. Off the, it's so off the hook that um, I'm still working on my mini blink camera to kick in because even that is lagging, and I cannot have that one lagging. No, 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 no. So the ones at home are working perfectly, but this one and my phone charging. Lord have mercy. I hear a lot of complaints about your your phone not charging like it's supposed to be on your um, plug-in. Well, let me tell you, you're not the only one, okay? There's something going on. There's something going on. I'm telling you, there's something going on because uh, this, is, this, is, um, this has never happened. But I wanted to give you an update because I'm getting ready to get inside. I am, I am. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me show you something, guys. show you something guys this is a piece of shit okay this is a piece of shit okay this freaking heater okay did i told you i was gonna test yes i did yes i did um i hooked it up to my uh my solar panel and it was running slow i said is my solar well you know my charge controller is all all messed up so, I'm supposed to receive it tomorrow, so I'll be working tomorrow and installing that baby. And, um, this was supposed to have a, um, a thermostat, okay, and a low and high button for heat and also as a fan. So, let me tell you something. This piece of shit here, okay, don't buy it, okay? 
Do not buy it. I'll tell you what it is right now. I could read it backwards. It's an it says VIP. VIP my behind. Um I'm gonna look in my uh my order because uh it doesn't even have a a name of any kind. Lord have mercy. I don't know what the heck did I order. And if I find a box it's going right the heck back. I think the box is inside. Oh, is it here? Holy crap. Oh yeah. I'm sending this back. I don't know how the heck to send stuff back from from Amazon, but this is going back. Okay, here it is. It still has no name. It just says auto heater fan, fashion appearance, high quality. Well, the only thing about it is um, the fashion appearance because it looks so good. Like it's going to work. Like it's going to do the job. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Doesn't it look beautiful and nice and, and, and yeah? Oh, okay. Look, no name. I didn't look at that either. It is a 12 um, volt and it's supposed to defrost your windows. So if it defrosts your windows, dang it, it's gonna, it's gonna heat up my car, right? So let me put this, put this crazy thing in here. So it comes with, uh, where are you? With the uh, cigarette lighter socket. And I have an adapter. Guys, this this did not come with that. These are adapters that I buy. So that when I have to plug in something. Um, it has a fuse. Okay, I know this thing comes with a fuse. Because I read about it. It has a fuse in sight. Built in. But as a precautionary measure. I always get these uh, piece of extenders. Okay. Let me take it off before I send it back to Amazon. Um, I buy these, okay, and I keep them handy. I buy, I have a lot of them. So to be on the safer side, this has a fuse. So it's extra protection against your power box and your jackery. So if you have a jackery, guys, uh, I'm going to tell you something. I know it's safe. I know, I know that, you know, it has its own fuse and whatnot and whatever. But you can double protect it. By getting these adapters, okay? These adapters, if it's anything with the, um, for the uh, cigarette lighter, it is an extra, um, I'm telling you. I'd rather mess up uh, an appliance than mess up a, uh, a jackery or a no brand jackery because mine don't have no name. I mean, they do have a name, but it's not the jackery, you know what I'm saying? It has a name. But it's just not the jackery. Well, let me tell you something. On the fan level, this this one really only has two levels. That's not what it said on the description. Um, I'm gonna leave it right here because I'm gonna take it right to 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 to. I don't know where I'm gonna do. I gotta read on how to return stuff because I don't know how to do that. Let me put this over here. If I can put this. Um, I put it on the on the heat, guys. The the air out of our noses is is faster, okay. Uh, it's warmer, okay. Go like this, guys. Just blow your nose on your hand. I mean, not blow, but just breathe, breathe. Our breath, our breath. That's warmer than what the heck comes out of them damn vents, okay. Very low, very low, very low, so low. I said. I'll freeze to death. They'll find me dead up and frozen, guys, if I had to live on that. Um, that will never. I mean, um, summer will be here, and you will freeze, okay? So, I don't recommend it, guys. So, I'm not going to put no links. If I don't try something and I know it works, I don't put no links. So, don't ask me about that link because you ain't getting it because it's no good. So, let me tell you something. When I got in here, guys, it was 31 degrees so all i did was bring the canister which is a size of a coffee cup but that canister goes inside a compartment which is a smaller um tabletop heater because it's, it's also a tabletop um fireplace i'm sorry fireplace but and it has the glass on the side what i love about it is that 
the bottom is bigger because it's heavy. It's heavier than the ones I have that you've seen. And it has the higher glass on both sides. And it just sits sits down. And it has a lot of space here and a lot of space here. So, and you could put rocks inside. And it keeps even more heat, right? Because, you know, them, them rocks heat up. So that's the rocks. That's the reason for the rocks for. Because the rocks... Um, it, they heat, they dry heat, yeah, they get hot, what? And they keep the fire low. So if you want more fire, then you, you just kind of move the rocks away from the from the um, the wick. And then you'll get a higher flame, you know, a little higher flame. But I get the rocks because I want to keep it on a low flame. According to what you need, you, you play with it. So I have this one on low. It's like a you know little 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 flickering there and there. But let me say something. I've been here for one hour. Um, one hour, and it's been half an hour that I put it inside this one. This one it started getting warm. You know the big one with the piping. Yeah, the heavy one. Yeah, I, I, and I, before it got hot, I said, you know what? No, -uh, you take too damn long, and you take, you take a lot of space. This thing takes a lot of space. As small, as small as this darn round thing is, but it's heavy. I said, no, you're not gonna work in here for me, cause you'll break my toes. I get up at night and kick one of them iron, um, legs. I am done. So I said, okay, but I did bring the canister. That goes into the fireplace, tabletop fireplace that y'all have not seen. And that was the first one I got. And then I started looking into them. And then I ordered the one y'all seen. And that one, listen, that one warms up my living room. Y'all seen my video on the tabletop fireplace. If you haven't seen that video and you're considering, are you trying to get alternate heat sources just in case? Um... Go to the video and watch it. Order it. The link is on there. Guys, I truly recommend that one for indoors. But I would not bring it in here. It's just too, it would be too much. Too much. So if you look at the video, you're going to see my thermostat on low. And it, it closely got to almost 80 degrees. And I had to shut it off in less than like, what, 20 minutes? Because it was evening time. It was cold outside. And my third, my heater at home, my furnace would never crank up unless I set it to 80. So I have it like on 71 and it does good. So, um, that's why I, I, I do my fireplace demonstration. I do it earlier because I need to freeze our house out to bring that thermostat back down. Let me tell you, I was sweating just in my living room. Imagine putting another, the other one between the bathroom and my daughter's room. Listen, the kitchen gets warm, the bathroom gets warm, and her bedroom will get warm. So, uh, and I would be nice and toasty in my living room. And, and you know, those are high ceilings. I mean, not high ceilings, but it's higher than this. So this baby, I mean, all I have is the canister with a little flicker. And I've been here for one hour. And in one hour, from messing around with this other one for like half an hour, and then setting up the canister, um, it was 30 degrees in here, guys. And let me see what the heck is it now. It's 55 degrees right now in here, guys. Okay. It's 55 degrees. and it's, It was 52 like a couple of minutes ago. And right now it's 55 degrees. So it is kicking up some heat. And I have it just on a little flame because I put rocks around it. Because I have never brought nothing like that inside my van. So just, you know, to be careful. Because you got to be careful. And I'm just testing it. And I'm here like, guys, I am not cold. Okay, I could feel the cold air coming because the way the windows are cracked open. But once I bring the part that 
that canister goes inside of that piece, that tabletop fireplace that y'all have not seen. I will show you when I come in the van to do another night, okay? Um, and matter of fact, oh, it, it'll fit in a bag. It'll fit in a bag. I don't have to come out. You know, I got to do sneaky things here at nighttime to do nighttime stuff because the eyes. So, um... That thing was just what I needed that night. And I would have had a wonderful morning because I would have made oatmeal. I would have had my coffee. I would have used a porta potty. I would have chilled. I well my power sources were all dead. So um hopefully once I change that charge controller tomorrow, whatever time I get it. I mean I'm not gonna say tomorrow because sometimes the deliveries come like at in the evening time. But once I get it installed, I'll bring you in here with me so y'all can see that Ada changed the charge controller. It's the same. It looks the same, but it's a hundred. It's an MPPT, and it looks just the same like the one I have on, but it's not a just solar uh, controller. It's a MPPT charge controller, um, 100, um, 100 volts. So, if I wanted to add extra solar panel down the line, then I don't have to worry about it. And I got two for $32 and some change. So, I have a spare one just in case. Because you got to have spares, guys. Things like that with electronics, um, electrical, electrical. You got to have spares. So, guys, um, this thing is warming beautifully. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm telling you, this thing is working. Look at it now. Now it's 56. Okay. You see, I ain't lying to you. The temperature just keeps rising and rising. And if it's feeling good, I, I am feeling good, guys. Because I would have I would have got the heck up out of here. And just bring the whole thing in here and just light the bitch up. But um, I said, you know what? Let me just bring the canister. Mm -hmm. So you want to see the canister, guys? Okay, I'll show, I'll show it to you. I have it on the floor, but let me tell you what I did. I put the canister inside of a, um, a pineapple can, you know, pine, you know, bits of those, those tidbits of pineapple, because I love me some pineapples. Um, so at nighttime I get up and I snack on pineapples and, and you know, stuff like that. Oh, I'll make me some oatmeal in a hot minute. But I munch on the tidbits. My daughter loves it too. App, uh, pineapple juice, uh, yeah, all that stuff. So fruits, you know, fruit cups, yeah. So um, what I did was I took one of those um, um, those bite sizes um, pineapple cans, and um, I tore up what was inside <laughs> the pineapples, and then I washed it and dried it, and then I put the canister because it. It, it go it, it'll it falls right in it okay because I don't want to touch the canister be hot well it'd be hot on the top but not on the bottom but just to have like a little stand to it because it looks like a coffee cup guys like a metal coffee cup so it already had liquid from I don't know when the heck I put the liquid on it that liquid was still I mean is is it's in the wick and a little bit on the bottom but let me tell you that that That'll last me for like three days, all day and all night on. So I'm going to give you a quick look. It's sitting on the floor, but actually the canister, um, the bottom is not hot, okay? I just added that extra layer on the bottom. So hold on, and I'll give you a little quick glance. Let's see what the temperature. Yeah, 56, guys. It's like every five minutes. It's a full time. Let me show you. And thanks for watching my video, okay? Thank you. And like I said, if you're a van lifer, Check out um, Joy Route, okay? J O Y R O U T E. Just like the route, yeah. She takes, she takes her Joy Route. So guys, you will learn a lot with her, okay? And you'll have fun. You'll have fun with her. So, um, and she meets a lot of people. So guys, maybe you can get some ideas from her videos, and it make it work for you. 
okay may work for you something from her channel might work for you and dragonflies um yes i have got the delivery but then i'm scared of the cold weather well i was running around i totally forgot i wanted to beat the kids before they take up all the whole avenue so tomorrow since i have to go back to the stupid bank um i will be stopping at the post office okay and then i'll show you guys what's going on what's cooking what's cooking so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna turn this off and i'm gonna go inside and um finish warm up my pizza my three slices i have one but i'm still hungry and uh once in a blue moon i'll have i'll have something from out outdoors but my daughter brought it heck what the heck what and i had not cooked it and i was hungry what i'm gonna tear it up so guys um I will show you what's cooking with dragonflies. Homestead Christina. Go check out that channel, guys. All right. And then you're going to find her hubby, uh, her other half. And, guys, if I don't hear about them too, I panic. I instantly panic. Okay. So, those are my two. Um, that I, 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 I constantly watch, okay? And notifications are, are messing up. The internet is messing us up. Um, somebody's messing us up, guys. So if you have any internet issues um, or charging your phone on slow-mo, the internet is running slow. I don't care how fast your internet is because mine is fast. Um, guys, it's running very slow. So let me give you a quick glance of this. Don't be scared. Don't say, oh my God, it's on the floor. You're going to burn the pan. It's not sitting plainly on the floor. Um, and it's just a very low flame. And it's not where it's supposed to be, which is the tabletop fireplace. Okay, so I'm going to bring that baby in. Once I get out of here, I'm going to come back in a, with it in a bag and just put it in here so I can have it. At least I know that works. Oh, yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching um, my channel again. Lots of hearts and hugs to all of you. And thank you for all your suggestions, your ideas, for keeping up with my um, crazy ass. And, and you know, I got to give you a laugh. So, yeah. So, I'm, I'm getting ready to shut this baby off. I have the special lock. Well, guys, don't worry because I don't have to blow nothing. Don't even think I'm going to be blowing on that thing. No, no, no. I got my spatula here. Okay, my special fi fireplace spatula to shut it off. And, you know, I got to do is just put it on the top and it goes, it goes, it goes away. Okay. So, guys, I have a nice blue flame because I have blue rocks in there. If I use the yellow rocks, I'll have a yellow flame. So... Let's see if I, I'm going to change it to the yellow one. Uh, and let's see what happens, guys. So I'm going to give you a quick look because I'm ready to go inside. Okay, guys? Thank you again. I'll catch you on my next video, guys. Thank you. There it is, guys. Oh, it does have some blue and brown rocks. It's sitting on a another jar. Not sitting. It's it's inside the other um, tin uh, jar, empty jar. So yeah, guys. Um, that does the trick. That does the trick. Okay, guys. So if I want a bigger flame. All I gotta do is move the rocks around. You see how that flame starts getting nosy? You see how it starts getting nosy, guys? It's all about it's all about where what you do with the rocks. So I'm gonna shut it off. And it's off, guys. Uh, let's check it out that it is off.
completely off guys very easy very if oops i'm sorry i shut you off okay so it's off guys and it and let me tell you it that one does the job okay so that's gonna be my heating source for the cold nights okay guys and the evenings and whatever time i head out to the road and that's a good emergency source too guys so you don't need a fireplace i need is a, 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 a tin uh, cup um throw some rocks throw some wick and um and that's it because you're going to light up the wick you're not going to light up any uh a uh, wick standing up like a you know a candle wick no you just fill a fill the liquid up a little bit um half put some wick in there and just light it up if you don't have any rocks you're gonna have a a nice fire if you put the rocks in uh you're gonna have a low fire you gotta play with the rocks and like i said that's what does the trick so guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time so it is off guys all right so i'm going to uh, take it inside and um i'm going to bring in the other the, the part that goes with that you will see it on my next video guys thank you thank you good night yeah okay i gotta i'm gonna catch up on my channels tonight okay all right guys thank you again